Welcome to the channel today and uh, we're going to take a trip down memory lane and explore some of the most iconic toys of the past. Uh, in this video we'll be looking at the most popular vintage toys from the 60s, 70s, 80s, maybe some earlier as well including Star Wars, Ghostbusters and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So let's start off with Star Wars, obviously a franchise that's captured the hearts of fans all over the world. The first Star Wars movie, as many as you know, uh, started in 1977 and really since then it's become a cultural phenomenon. Um, one of the most popular Star Wars toys you'll see as uh, we roam around the store is the Millennium Falcon. These figures are all very highly detailed and they came with accessories that allowed kids really at the time to recreate their favourite scenes from the movies. Most popular were obviously things like Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Darth Vader, but there was there were some kind of rare ones as well, which uh, if you Google things on the internet, I'm sure you'll find out uh, various colours and uh, variations. So the Millennium was obviously the most iconic uh, Star Wars vehicle, and uh, but there's others in the, uh, the whole list. You can see a few here. There's the Knight Rider toy as a remote control toy as well. Thundercats, which... Uh, it was a massive popular series in the 80s and again more Star Wars toys. You saw some Ghostbusters toys, they're obviously a huge franchise, a comedy horror classic if you like, which is uh, in itself a very popular toy to collect. You saw just then Grimlock appear transform. I actually picked that toy up uh, while I was in the store, which was a bit of a childhood toy of mine and I was glad to kind of add it to my shelf and my collection again, seeing more Star Wars toys figures really and variation stuff, some Batman, very vintage, very classic uh, style, Joe 90, quite a lot from the, the 1960s and 70s, had a real space feel about it, this store, which is really nice because you don't always see going back a little bit further in some of these toy shops, there's a big, big range of Joe 90 memorabilia and also Dan Dare as well that you can see there and James Bond they had a lot of James Bond stuff particularly at the front of the store and the turtles which we mentioned earlier here's kind of panning out to as you go into the store that's kind of what you're seeing there's a lot of figures in the uh, perspex cages or prisons whatever you want to describe them as and then there's a whole mix of action man stuff there had a lot of dinky toys and corgi stuff uh, as well as Action Force. They just pretty much had everything you can think of. Lots of different ranges, not just specific to one area. The massive Jar Jar Binks there, as you can see as you come in. This is as you enter the store, just to describe it. And I'm just panning it around so you can see the entire shop. It's a pretty big store. It's a little Snoopy puppet toy, I guess you can call it. I mean, kids uh, used to play with these to death, so you probably won't see it in that condition. And there are a lot of corgi stuff, James Bond there. Just coming back around there, just giving you a better view. Now, as promised in the video title, of course, there was a bit of an exciting area to uh, this visit. And what we were uh, given was some access to some of the collection, really, of the uh, owner. And we're not going to show everything, we're just going to show a few sneak peeks. So here we go with what we uh, described at the beginning of the video. So... This was a very cool visit in terms of actually being able to see some of this other memorabilia, which wasn't for sale in the main store, but as you can see here, is uh, is lovely display. It's not just chucked in boxes and a whole plethora of kind of store displays as well as the stores themselves. There you've got the uh, fire station, the Ghostbusters fire station. The owner actually had, a, I think, one or two sealed Ghostbusters fire station, so it had never been opened. A lot of kind of 1960s, 1950s, a lot of robots as well to this collection. So stuff that perhaps you know you might not see just in a in a standard kind of setup. And uh, yeah, it was really really exciting. And you know, you got to see here. There's the uh, a full size Dalek, which was just exceptional. And I don't think there's many of these in that kind of condition as well. So that was pretty stunning to see. I'm just scoping around here. You can probably see things, recognise things that maybe your grandparents or your parents or maybe you, sorry to uh, bring the age thing in, maybe you remember 
uh, from your childhood days, a lot of Dan Dare stuff, as, as well as the original store as well. They've got uh, some stuff here. So it's really exciting to see some of the stuff that, you know, perhaps you won't see in a normal Kind of and there you have it really, just wanted the, uh, to take you around both the know, store kind of and the storage, area. cool little secret area uh, with uh, some of the most popular vintage toys from the past. The toys have really become collector's items over the years and they're still played with, some are kind of kept as you can see behind the perspex, but people cherish them to this day and we hope you enjoyed this trip, I'm taking you down memory lane and hope to see you in the next video.